Minasang, konnichiwa, Regan des. I'm finally out of hospital. Uh, I'm here in Surumai Park getting some much needed fresh air. And I just wanted to make this video, a lot of people have seen the videos on Victor's channel. I haven't made anything on this one yet, so there's probably a lot of people that don't know what happened. But a lot of you have seen the video on Victor's channel. I've had a lot of questions from people what happened. And also I just wanted to let people know who don't know about what's been happening and why I went to hospital. So two years ago, I first got sick back when I was in Australia. And there's always been a small chance that it would reoccur. It was only tiny. And so I actually thought I'd be in the clear forever, <laughs> but unfortunately not. So on Tuesday, I went to the hospital. I'd been getting, I'd been feeling recently uh, numbness in half of my face, down to my shoulder, and I also started getting the hiccups on Tuesday. And both of these were symptoms of what I had already had two years ago. And so I, I'd recently had the numbness, which had always been residual since two years ago when I first had this thing, but it started getting stronger. And so I decided to head to the hospital on Wednesday, which is my day off. But then on Tuesday, I started getting the hiccups, which was the big symptom the first time I had this. And I actually had it for five weeks when I first had it two years ago. So when I got the hiccups on Tuesday at work, I knew immediately, Ugh, I've got it again. It's happening. <laughs> so after work, I went to hospital and got a CT scan done. And while I was doing the CT, after I did the CT scan, I, they, the bed came back out and immediately I went to get up and the guy just went, nope you're not moving and so that was when I, I realized that it, it had come back or at least I thought it'd come back and what I had what I have is what's called a cavernous angioma and it's a malformation of my blood vessel in my brain and it's about a centimeter big it's this uh, it's a it's like a pocket of blood it's where the, the blood vessel malforms and fills with blood and usually they go undetected except mine was found to be on the brain stem and so it's pushing against the brain stem which has caused my symptoms of my numb face and my half numb face and my hiccups so i'd already had this two years ago i thought it had gone away but it turns out once i started getting hiccups again i figured uh, it's back turns out it's a new one so i've got two of these in my brain now the first one has died down so it's only a millimeter big and now the second one is is a centimeter like the first one so it's it's still in there at the moment it's healing hopefully but anyway this was the first time that the japanese doctors had seen it and so they wouldn't let me move for about two days i think they made me lay down completely flat on this bed and so on Wednesday morning Victor made his first video for those of you who've seen that I think I might have freaked him out a little bit when I told him I had a brain bleed uh, it, and it, it could have been serious but it wasn't which is good so basically what's happened over the last four days is I've just been sitting in hospital uh, they wanted to do some scans and make sure that I was all okay which I am it's not getting any worse it, it should be getting better soon uh, I've got to go in for a scan in a couple of months as well so it's still a centimeter big but it's it's not really doing any damage where it is at the moment so I wanted to make this video just to let people know that I'm okay uh, there's there's like a 5% chance that it could happen each year, which is pretty similar to what they told me two years ago anyway. Not too worried about it. It hasn't killed me yet, so <laughs> it's tried two times. So hopefully I can keep this, this living thing that I'm doing going. But I really wanted to make this video mainly because uh, Victor made a second video on the Wednesday or Thursday. He came to visit and I've had a lot of visitors, um, some other YouTubers that came. Uh, Gaijin Shane, Victor himself from Give Me A Break Man, uh, Kazuka from Japan and Tomoko Des, as well as some other friends as well. And so that was really nice and they brought me food which is good. I almost was going to lose weight in hospital but thanks to them I didn't. And on the day that Victor came, the second, uh, the second video that he made, he came in and, and filmed and showed everyone that I was okay except that I'd had three hours sleep so I was looking a bit tired. But we filmed a second part that he didn't include in his video which I thought was more important and that was because over, I think in the span of two or three days, on his video he asked everybody to send me good vibes and to wish me well and everything and there was something like 200 or 300 messages, comments. When he came in, we filmed, uh, I wanted to say thank you everybody but he cut it from his video. So I wanted to say thank you to everybody that sent me those messages. I had good vibes, I had prayers. Uh, kind thoughts. I had a fortune reading to say that I would survive this and so far it's worked. So I wanted to say thank you to everybody who sent me messages and comments and things like that. I had a few comments of people worrying about me but everything's okay. There's a 5% chance that it could reoccur but eh, good, bad, who knows. In fact, the first time this happened, only good things happened after it. So I'm looking forward to all the good fortune that comes out of this one as well. My parents actually flew out, have flown over to Japan and they've actually come to visit. So it might be a little while before I can make some more videos. While they're here in Japan, I'm going to be spending some time with them. As well as I've still got the hiccups, which I've been cutting out of this video, which come intermittently. So I don't really want to make videos while I've got the hiccups. But after I've spent some time with the family and recovering, I'll be back hopefully making some more useful videos than just updates of why my computer crashed and I can't upload videos and 
my week in the hospital. One of the other questions I was asked, I was messaged about hospital and to make this video not completely useless, someone was asking about how much it costs to stay in hospital in Japan. And so all I can say is that I'm on the national healthcare scheme here in Japan and I think they pay 70%, I pay 30% of all hospital costs. I had two CT scans done, I had two MRIs done, I was in the high care unit for two nights and I was in a shared room for one night and all up it cost me about $500 Australian American uh, roughly so that was actually pretty cheap it actually turned out really well because I can't claim on insurance because it's existing illness I couldn't actually claim it on my own so that's one benefit of the Japanese healthcare system it's it's quite cheap I was staying there for three days and the high care unit room was a private room so the end results quite good as well as I can still exercise and do all the things that I like doing too I don't think I'll be joining any boxing clubs soon but apart from that life is back to normal so thank you again to everybody for all the well wishes I'll be back within a week or two making videos again so minasan arigatou gozaimasu ja matane